G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're carrying on with strings in Delphi or string constants or string literals I think uh, quite often they are referred to as as now in the previous video we had some code that looked like this and if I I'll just set a breakpoint at the very end and we will run that and what I'm going to do is I'll take that, throw that in there, and copy the value. Uh, copy value. And then just carry on. So um, that's simple enough, but what I can do is then paste this in here, and we'll see that it's 385 characters, uh, thereabouts. And if I run it, It works just fine. And we can see this is a, a, you know, a Delphi string. These are carriage return line feeds. And because we've got a, the, the characters effectively, they can just be embedded as part of the part of the string. It's quite a concise syntax, um, which I use occasionally. But just to prove that doesn't work in Delphi 11.3, we have an error. So string literals can be at most 255 elements. And of course, the way to solve that is find somewhere um, in there, uh, perhaps here. And we'll just break that up into two, two bits. Now, apparently, I haven't tested it, but the IDE supports, uh, Delphi, the Delphi 12 IDE supports up to 4,000 characters, a maximum line length. So that's quite flexible, but um, we can do better than 4,000 characters. So let's go up to the top of this unit and go into an api.windows. And we've got some code here, which is 44,000 lines long, uh, very marginally beyond that. So I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard and come in here uh, and What text is assigned? Oops. And paste that in. And we can see we're sort of <laughs> at the 40, 44,000 line mark. And I can run that. And there we have our um, source code. And that is 44,000 lines, which of as a string literal, which is ridiculous. I have no idea what the use case for this is. Uh, it might be handy if you're wanting to embed some large HTML document or XML or something, uh, embedding data directly in your application as a string, JSON, something like that. But even that 44,000 lines of code of, 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 of string is a bit ridiculous. And I can just hold the page up and gives you an idea of uh, how much that actually represents, which is quite a lot. So we're about a third of the way through scrolling <laughs> through this uh, the string. So anyway, I don't need to go the whole lot. So that's an uh, interesting enhancement to Delphi 12, having long, long strings. Certainly, uh, you know, long single lines. I hit this occasionally, um, so that'll be interesting. And I, I don't know what impact having multi-line strings in Delphi will be as yet. Now, as always, I keep forgetting to mention that I have written some books, Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi. Both are available on both Amazon and LeanPub. So Amazon for the physical books and LeanPub for the uh, electronic versions. The, I would have, done, would have done Kindle, but Amazon keeps too much money, basically. Um, anyhow, so uh, do check those books out. Buying those does help support the channel. I don't make hardly any money from YouTube itself, about $5 a month, something like that. So yeah, buying a book helps out a lot, but, a lot, but also you know, like and, and subscribe, that sort of thing. Uh, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, probably some other new feature of Delphi 12. So uh, see you then.